Hey, welcome to Dolt Hub. Come on in. What's up, everyone? Time to build a database. Especially you, Max. <laughs> Hi, uh, so I'm, I'm Tim, I'm the founder and CEO here at Dolt Hub, and I'm here to kind of tell you about our, about our origin story. I think it's kind of, it's one of the best ways to figure out what we're doing and see if it's interesting to you. So I've been thinking about this company kind of back to my Amazon Web Services days back in 2013. Uh, I was at an offsite and we were discussing new products. And I was kind of wondering, you could, at that point, you could rent a computer and then you could rent a database, but you couldn't rent the data in a database. And so I was kind of became puzzled by why that was. Why was there no place on the internet to get access to interesting maintained data? Um, I promptly left Amazon and uh, started my next company, Snapchat, uh, and I worked there for four years. But, uh, and Throughout that time, uh, this this question still kind of puzzled me. Like, why was there no place on the internet to get access to interesting maintained data? This thing should exist. Uh, and then over that that time, we kind of watched neural networks start to work. Machine learning just became came into in into fad because it started working better. And you could see the value of data just going up and up and up. Yet yet still, there wasn't any any place on the internet to get access. To, to data and that made, didn't make any sense. Uh, so when I decided to leave Snapchat in 2017, I kind of immediately left uh, Snapchat on a Friday, started this company on a, on a Monday, trying to figure out how, like, how would you build a place on the internet to get access to interesting maintained data. And so I started that, I started on Monday uh, and by Thursday I was like, yeah, I'm not sure I really wanna do this right now. And I kind of quit my own company four days in. Uh, so, and then for the next six months, I kind of kicked the startup along in the background, wasn't sure what I was going to do. And then my two co-founders, Aaron and Brian, who were my lead, a couple of my lead engineers at Snapchat came to me and were like, Hey Tim, if you're going to do this data sharing idea, we want to do it with you. And so we, uh, they quit their job in June, July, and we started full time on this in August in 2018 in my basement. And, uh, we, that's the problem we set out to solve. Let's build a place on the internet where you can get access to interesting maintained data. Uh, and our hypothesis was that if we added branch merge, like we had in source code in some way to data, more data would be shared and that would be a good thing for everyone. And so we initially experimented with putting that concept on top of APIs, we weren't really happy with how it felt. Uh, it kind of just felt a little clunky. Uh, and for modern data applications like machine learning especially, you kind of want access to all the data, not just uh, the data piecemeal like you would get with an API. And so we experiment that concept and then my co-founder Brian put the git command line on top of this open source package called noms and we effectively had git for tables. We looked at that thing and we were like, hey, this is a product, we should just ship this. And so that thing needed a name. Uh, most people don't know this, but git means idiot in British slang. So we needed a word that meant idiot that started with D for data that was short enough to type in the command line that wasn't taken in the common command line lexicon. And so we went with Dolt. Uh, a lot of people kind of wonder why you would ever name a, a company after a stupid person, but that's that's why. Uh, and then we, so then we, uh, we immediately, immediately went out and bought dolthub.com for $12 a year. Uh, and we switched the name of the company to Dolt Hub about a year ago. So uh, we were the hub of idiots. Uh, just like GitHub, and and we're kind of proud of it. Uh, so we we were getting a lot of good feedback from potential investors and customers, and so we started to hire up our team. Uh, we shipped the the first version of Dolt in uh, the fall or in, or in August 2019, about a year after we started, uh, and we shipped the first version of Dolt Hub in September of 2019. And we focused a lot on the data sharing use case. Uh, we started to put. Uh, put open data set, sets up on Dolt Hub, uh, start to try to drive community interest, and the farthest we got along on that vector was data bounties, which are contests where we uh, divvy up a prize, usually $10,000, uh, to a bunch of data scrapers and other folks to kind of go and build a Dolt, Dolt, Dolt database uh, out of scraped data on the, off the internet. So we've done US hospital prices, we're doing a, a uh, basketball uh, data, uh, database right now. Um, so you should check that out if, that, if you think that's interesting. Um, but that's uh, over the last year or so, that's uh, more and more people have been coming to us and been, and been telling us, hey, 
we're not necessarily, well, like we think that the data sharing use case is cool, but what we really want is uh, an OLTP database, an online transaction protocol database, like MySQL or Postgres that has these Git features. We want to be able to branch, merge, clone, diff our running production SQL database. Can I have one of those? Uh, and so we've been working for the past year to, to service that use case. And we think that kind of database is going to be just a fundamentally easier database to operate. Imagine that you had a bug in production, uh, you needed, it was database related, you needed to you need to go debug it. In the current world, you need to actually like log on to the database. Someone really experienced has to do that because it's really dangerous. Um, with Dolt, you can just make a copy. You can clone a copy onto your laptop, start doing your, de your debugging. You can, let's say the fix is to add an index. You can add an index, uh, commit it, uh, send that up to Dolt Hub for a code review, just like you would uh, in your uh, your standard software development product practice, and everyone is cool that you just push it out in production. We think that model just makes a lot of sense for databases, and we think our customers do too, uh, because they've been asking for it. And so the, you'll you'll see a lot more features coming out of Dolt, Dolt Hub in the next year uh, to support the OLTP use case, So, and we're really excited about it. Um, and so uh, I'd encourage you to go check it out. Uh, Dolt is free and open source. You can go you can go download it today, start playing with it, start running a SQL server, uh, build a simple application on top of it. Uh, I think you'll, you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised with the version control experience that we've, we've built on top of a SQL database. So thanks for spending time uh, watching this today. Uh, I'm Tim, I'm the CEO here at Dolt Hub. I'd encourage you to check out Dolt. It's free and open source. Uh, on GitHub, it's dolthub slash dolt. Uh, we also have dolthub.com where you can create an account for free, start hosting uh, public databases for free and get access to our hundreds of open databases for you to, to experiment with. Uh, that's www.dolthub.com.